for this <laughs> and we've been on many of those rides so thank you all very very much for coming out I should mention that Jane is also a daughter of Brooklyn a little bit crazy we ended up meeting in Vermont but that's <laughs> um, all of you know that this is a pivotal moment in American history uh, what we are seeing today is a grotesque level of income and wealth inequality. We are seeing the top one-tenth of one percent owning almost as much wealth as the bottom 90 percent. We are seeing the 20 wealthiest people in this country owning more wealth than the bottom half of America, 150 million people. All over this country, we are seeing people working longer hours for lower wages. We are seeing people work not one job, but two jobs or three jobs just to bring in enough income and enough health care to take care of the family. In America, we can do better than that. We are going to create an economy that works for all of us, not just the 1%. Right now, to give you an example of what a rigged economy is about, we have the wealthiest family in America owning Walmart. That one family owns more wealth than the bottom 40% of the American people, one family. Yet because they pay their workers wages that are so low, many of those employees are forced to go on food stamps and Medicaid. And you know who pays for those food stamps and Medicaid? You don't. It is a rigged economy when the middle class has to subsidize the wealthiest family in America. And that is why I believe that the Walton family has got to get off of welfare, pay their workers a living wage. But we're talking now not only about a rigged economy, but we're talking about a corrupt campaign finance system. I'm the former chairman of the Senate Committee on Veterans Affairs, and in that position I've had the privilege of meeting veterans who fought from World War II to Iraq and Afghanistan. They, that's right, and we owe them a debt, deep debt of gratitude. They fought to protect our way of life, which is called democracy. One person, one vote. When we have a situation today when a handful of billionaire families 
like the Cope brothers and a few others are prepared to spend some $900 million in this campaign cycle in order to elect candidates who represent the wealthy and the powerful. Brothers and sisters, that is not democracy, that is oligarchy. And we are not going to allow that to take foot in this country. But it's not just a corrupt campaign finance system. We have right now all over this country cowardly Republican governors who are trying to suppress the vote. No! Now this country from day one has struggled with a lot of pain and a lot of bloodshed to create a vibrant democracy where all people could participate and shape the future of this country. And now you've got Republicans who are working overtime trying to make it harder for poor people or people of color or old people to vote. Boo! And I say to those governors, if you are afraid of free, fair, and open elections, get out of politics, get a new job. Yeah.